Hi, welcome to this segment of the Fit and Healthy Today Show. And today we're going to kind of review caffeine, um, friend or foe, particularly coffee. Now there's a lot of caffeinated drinks out there and you'll have to analyze the individual caffeine content per serving. My husband brought out a really good point to me earlier. You got to look at what the serving size is. So you may get this can and it may have three servings. And so check out the, the serving size. Now typically a brewed cup of coffee, now we're talking six ounces. Most people are doing the big mug, but six ounces of coffee is right about 140 milligrams of caffeine. Now that's enough to uh, jumpstart anybody's day. And the problem that lies with coffee is you'll lose the minerals, it washes out, the caffeine pushes the minerals out, which in, in turn can aid in a bad energy loss rapidly and quickly. It's what's called a natural diuretic. Um, how it works, it kind of bypasses the adrenal glands. So the adrenals, um, you know, cortisol releases to release blood sugars, and then you're able to perform functions. What caffeine or coffee does is it bypasses that and it literally robs energy on a cellular level and makes the adrenal glands overwork themselves, producing tons and tons of cortisol. So always a lot of caution. Um, obviously, doing a cup of coffee, and I see a lot of my customers come in first thing in the morning saying all I had was my morning cup of coffee. And it kind of horrifies me because coffee causes low blood sugar. So if they're not e eating anything with their coffee, they're literally pulling out of this beautiful muscle tissue that we work so hard to keep that moves us around. You gotta eat a good breakfast that has equal balance of protein, fats, and carbs in the morning. If you're gonna have a cup of coffee, no going out the door with just the coffee. And then of course, obviously, sleeplessness. Um, when you look for coffee, just a sideline, look for organic and preferably organic, naturally decaffeinated coffee. The reason why is the naturally decaffeinated coffees use water, they don't use chemical solvents. Now there are some benefits to coffee as well too. You know, when I say friend or foe, it's, it's a nice little happy balance here. It does increase energy and I think a nice six ounce cup of coffee in addition to your breakfast can be helpful. It increases mental alertness and I have some of my students that have long two and three hour classes and it can be helpful but once again, you're gonna, when you do the coffee, you wanna drink or eat it with something that's gonna have a protein, fat, and a little bit of carbs so that you actually get, the caffeine actually lasts a little bit longer and it doesn't blow off your blood sugars. Coffee is probably, most people, it may be their only antioxidant they get for the entire day. It's very rich in antioxidants and has been shown to be very anti-Alzheimer's. Also, there is some additional research on use, utilizing it for muscle uh, building and, and uh, muscle strength. Some little sideline notes. Now, what I'd like to do, however, is I'd like to point out some alternative things that you can use for energy besides caffeine or caffeine types of products. These do not strip the body, they feed the body. So when you look for things that are for overall health, little cup of coffee, I understand, but throughout the day, if you're drinking that coffee to maintain your energy throughout the day, or that soda, or that other energy drink, the problem lies is you are literally robbing your body of its natural ability to produce its own natural energies and eventually can lend itself to burn out adrenal glands. So we're going to look at some alternatives and then in a few minutes here I'm going to show you a smoothie I know we make here at the vitamin and herb stores and I tell you all my customers comment on how much energy they get from the smoothie. So alternatives when we look and these are all from foods or mushrooms or bee products um, green tea now green tea a nice Japanese green tea or a, or a matcha type of tea has maybe 25 to 30 milligrams of caffeine that's one fourth one fifth of the caffeine that you're going to get in a coffee but there's catagens that neutralize the effects of the caffeine on the body so you're going to get more of a sustained release energy um, cordyceps you know, years back, I remember the Chinese getting in a lot of trouble because their marathon runners were out doing everybody else's, and the Chinese threw their hands in the air and says, well, you know what? We're using these cordyceps mushrooms, 
and they help increase our endurance and our energy output. So cordyceps, ginsengs. Now there's different types of ginsengs and there's some argument over whether certain things can be called ginsengs. But there's things like, and this is the more common name for it, in, in different brands, Siberian ginseng is what it's been referred to more commonly. But Siberian ginseng, the Russians did some great studies on that that literally showed that people had better, less mental fatigue, produced a better product for a longer period of time. It is also an adaptogen, so it, it helps the body adapt to stress. Superfoods, bee pollen probably be, be all bee products, bee pollen, um, royal jelly, um, propolis, bee products have a great ability to stimulate energy and actually some weight loss as well too. It's kind of funny, all of these alternatives do help with weight loss um, from a standpoint of overall well-being, you feel like exercising and they actually do increase the body's ability to burn off fat as a side note. What I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a smoothie that we do here at our deli that I think is awesome. And you can make it with, um, we have a Vitamix, we have a commercial Vitamix, but you can get one of those um, Nutribullets or um, Nutriblast, any of those types of blenders that can really, really blend up the vegetables. A regular blender usually does not do that. Now, Ralph will print up or show on the site the recipe for the Green Goddess, but I'm going to go here through real quick and just make you a sample one. What we do is we start off, we use an unsweetened um, um, almond milk, and in our case we always use organic. We take about four ounces, and I'm pretty good at measuring, about four ounces of almond milk. Out of the camera here. A little bit of water and we use purified reverse osmosis. I'm going to throw in a handful of spinach, organic. All of these are organic. Now, a lot of people don't know what kale is and this is kale. It's kind of a superfood. Um, if you do slightly have an underactive thyroid though, a minimal usage on the kale, maybe a little bit more spinach. Throw that in there. We're going to take about a quarter of an avocado. Blend it out of there. Sorry about that. And what you're going to do is you're going to obviously peel it. And let me grab a knife real quick here. It'll make the process a little bit quicker. It's one thing about television like this. The imperfections sometimes make it what, what's cool. Nice, good uh, avocado. Slice it up in there. Now the avocado gives us some fatty acids um, because I am going to put in a half a banana, which is sugar. And so we want this to be a balance of protein, fats, and carbs in our smoothie. Okay, wipe off a little hands. So I always usually suggest adding a protein in with your, uh, what we call the green goddess. But what we do here is first of all, we blend it up. And I started off a little low here, get it going. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to really blend up all of the greens. So what this is going to do is it's going to make it more palatable. Now we add the protein in a little later because sometimes proteins can froth the smoothie up a little bit. So we grab a nice scoop of protein. I picked a, a, the Alka Pharma protein because it's one of the very few New Zealand whey proteins. The cows aren't given any growth hormone and they're all pasture fed. So the nutrient value of this one would be really high. Put my lid back on here, blend it back up again. about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, just to get a nice blend. Unless you like to chew your vegetables, it's probably the route you want to go. All right, now if you notice on here, I'm going to pour it in a little bit larger of the cup. This is a real, real rich, rich, rich smoothie. Okay, and you can make it as big as you like. This one's normally right about 12 ounces. 
Now, you do have an option if you choose to put in a little bit of spirulina, chlorella, barley, wheatgrass on this to make it even more potent uh, of a smoothie and give you even better energy. So I'm going to put the lid on this one and the lid on our show. Once again, we're going to be posting the uh, recipe for this wonderful Green Goddess uh, smoothie. And if you want to, you can always stop by the Vitamin Herb stores uh, here in Lompoc and grab one for yourself. Thank you very much for joining this segment of our show.